This country was founded in 1776, when the Founding Fathers signed a Declaration of Independence and pitted the United States, which were then a bunch of fledgling colonies, against the largest and most powerful empire on Earth, Britain. This land tells the story of a man with connections to major historical figures like First President George Washington or Confederate General Robert E. Lee. It's also the story of the first congressional representative for Virginia. This is the story of Richard Bland Lee. Richard Bland Lee would become the owner of this land in 1787 after the passing of his father. This land would be split between him and his brother Theodric, with Richard taking the northern area. In 1789, Richard would leave to become the first representative for Virginia in the first Congress of the United States of America. Before departing, he dubbed this site as Sully. He would spend five years as our representative in Philadelphia, where he would meet and marry Elizabeth Collins. Once Richard left for Congress, he would place Theodric in charge of constructing the buildings on this land. The buildings were based on Georgian and Federalist architecture. The buildings that were placed here are as follows. A stone dairy, a smokehouse, a kitchen, three slave quarters, and a left wing on the house. Behind me is an accurate recreation of one of the three slave quarters that were built on this land. It was rebuilt in the year 2000 using only the tools and materials available to the workers at the time that these buildings were originally made. In 1789, the site was restored by Fairfax County Park Authority. It was refurnished with items from the Federalist period, which were the years between 1787 and 1838. This is also the period of time in which the site is protected under. Today, there are many different activities that you can partake here up at Sully Historic Site. You can go on a self-guided tour or purchase tickets for house tours. They also have exciting dairy days where you can make your own butter and ice cream and tie-dye events where you can tie-dye shirts with organic dyes. It is also open to general learning opportunities. Sully has had a very long history and traded many hands along the way. Just like the other locations covered on this series, it had the humblest of beginnings, but blossomed into an extremely important historical site. This land saw the creation of our nation. The very first congressman for Virginia lived here, and it stands as a monument to where we were and just how far we've come. Richard became owner of this land in 1787, after his father passed away. This land would be split between him and all the scary bugs that keep flying around my head and the cameras.